more time with these people. And it might not be like this, but you have to spend more time. You might want to cook a meal. Something, you know, when was the last time you cooked a meal for that person? But you cook what they ask, right? Sometimes, and um, just recently, I changed the way we eat. Period. And she resisted. She, and she agreed with the week and stuff before I even put it into action. And she was on board with it. So now that the meals are coming and I'm fixing things a certain way, I don't want that or I don't like that. Or I even went to work and I came home and she had to eat nothing, and I had already prepared something for her to eat, but if it's not what she wants, she'd rather sit there. Right. So, um, well, sometimes we have to treat um, our elders like children, because that's where, you know, how they're degenerating. So with my child, I included her in the process of what she wanted to eat. But she didn't want to eat that, then, well, mama, what, did you, what do you want to eat? Find out what she wants to eat. And then one of the services that I do with the Drop Squad Kitchen is I help you make it unapologetically healthy and as tasty. You're just not going to tell her that it's something different. Let her think she ate, she's eating um, pulled pork. I asked her that question every day. All right. Every day. 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 Every day.
and cry the tears from back. her day. She loved and that. And at least get her in the music because the music is, you know, the music of the soul as well. And, you know, that was, you know, you gotta take her back to happier times. Uh, because you sit there, you look at TV, and you just hear bad news, bad news, bad news, and it's a wreck. Right. So it, sometimes I get that way. I get up to put on a day brand. And they just be loose. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, it just makes me feel better. And then I have to get out. I can't, you know, I, I, I'm up with the sun and down with the sun. So sometimes that music, once you start getting energy, then you'll be able to get to the food a lot better. Because the food is important. I'm learning now. I mean, I grew up in the South where we were way back in the woods, so we didn't get a lot of chemical stuff. We raised what we ate. But um, now I'm eating all this chemical stuff, and I can, I, I can see what's going on with my body. That's why, that's why I'm here to learn, you know, how to get, get around that. But, you know, get, get the music to make her, take her back to a happy time. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Any more questions? Yes, sir. Um, I had a question about the uh, aloe. Like, basically, I read in one, one book that aloe was good for you. That's just my friend told me something about being a hybrid plant. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, don't eat it. Don't? No, don't eat it. But um, I use it in my hair. You know, I use it on cuts and bruises, but I'm not eating it like as a part of my, my regular routine. Because they have this water called aloe water, and basically put chunks of aloe in it. Right. So I just wanted to there's, some, there's a lot of other stuff that we could have, um, but I, I don't recommend aloe. And the last thing is about the uh, citric fruits. Yes. I heard like, they can, like they're good, but only like certain portions, like don't go with the citric fruits. You know, overdo it with the citrus fruits, like especially in the morning and um, like all day, every day, like do the citrus, but don't do like the sweet citrus, like oranges and tangerines and clementines. You know, our ancestors created the, the lemons and or the, you know, citrus so that we can battle everything that we're battling right now. So um, we need that and we need it especially as it relates to um, our vitamin D, well, whatever deficiency, our sunlight deficiency. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be something that's gonna help us. It's also um, great for disease in our body and cleansing out. So one of the first things that you can do when you wake up and you break fast is to use citrus. All right, citrus is gonna help you detox. It's gonna help you cleanse the candida. It's gonna help you cleanse the yeast and the mucus out. If you keep it in your water, if you notice I use it on my salads, it's great for digestion, for like any food. It's good, it's, it's just, it's really good. And then limes, even though they're, they're acidic, but once they get into our body, it's like more alkaline. So do a little bit of research on some of the citrus, grapefruit, um, what are the other ones? The limes, the lemons, the um, king cup pots. They're really good. And you're gonna see a change. I used them um, the other day, remember? I was just like feeling free. I was like, no, I need some lemon. And I just rubbed it all over my face. When I kept going from the mic to over here, I'm just going into the water where everybody's used the bathroom and stuff like that to go wash my hands. I used the lemon and water to wash my hands. So yeah, let's do citrus. 